Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indie? Bring strategic, tactical, and survival games to your face holes. Today's indie game is Sons of Ra. This is a beta gameplay currently on the. There's an indie festival currently ongoing. Digitals have downloaded all the demos, if they can, and I'm playing them. This game is not out till July, so it's a beta game, but let's have a look at it. So, it calls itself like a two person competitive tower defense game. It's kind of, as you can see. Basically, both sides are producing towers and both sides are producing infantry. As you can see, it's designed around a controller, so there isn't too much to it, as you can literally see here. There are four towers, four soldiers, and four spells. Each different god you can pick has different spells. That's about it. Now, right now, the AI is not good. It should be played with a friend because it's local and I can't get any of my friends out this time of day. It's just me playing against the AI. So as you can see here, catapults only fight to skip this. So there's two types of cards using the game as it was saying. I'll just straight up play the game and show you how it works. So there's different lanes which you can build stuff on. As you can see, there's two gods. There's like, there is more gods in the game, like Anubis and Set, but we only have Ra and Isis. But as you can see, they have different spells, and that's about it. Let's begin. So I didn't quite know how to play the game when I first started, so I almost lost like a few points. So there's a few different maps, as you can see. The rest will be in the full version. Well, one will be in the full version. So we have access to Dunes. And Senate. We'll start at Senate and go to Dunes. So R unlocks Ethic, gives expansion. The more you kill, a bar fills up at the bottom. I'm clicking. So you start off your little base here. The enemy has their base on the other side. And you hold right click to pick your troops, as you can see here. And then you send them either up or down. Obviously, if you're doing like a, th a three route, you get that as well. But you can have up to three directions. And the enemy will also send troops. At the bottom, as you can see, a bar is filling up. Right now, if I want to, I can press R and unlock a new soldier. I will unlock an archer. But as you can see, you can't really queue up multiple things. You've got to physically let go each time. So, you can't queue up dozens of different soldiers because you'll run out. Now, when you kill things, you get more resources, you can see. Oh, okay, the archers are firing over there. That's good. Send more troops. And when the enemy gets past, of course, when they get inside your base, you lose your health. Your health's on the other side, as you can see. Now, the game basically revolves around who can spam most. Like, the spell which I have as raw, I can actually straight up destroy a tower. See. So, over here, as you can see, this is my faith, I guess. Faith gives you spells. Money gives you troops. At the bottom of the so I can unlock a new thing. I can also build towers inside the red zone, as you can see. Now towers, are, they're not that good. They do a bit of extra damage, but not enough to be useful. And as you can see, basic spearmen. I am already pushing the enemy straight back to their home. And I've got a couple of archers. Now when you get a certain amount of things, you can get to this, which is F, you can actually upgrade your building. Which will give you many different options. Oh, and there's the enemy dead. Just with spearmen. Which will give you access to even more money. More powerful soldiers, which I think just gives an extra bonus, and more faith. That's it. Uh, as you can see. But there we go. Let's uh, rematch. So there isn't really too much to it. It's very, very basic. Okay, let's, uh, I don't know, obelisk. That's uh, uh, obviously is that. Unlock the obelisk. Let's have you here. Now, I'd like, of course, to be able to put more than one down at a time. Like, I can obviously click here. But, yeah, once you actually have a tower put down, you have to go back. Like I said, catapults can only shoot towers, so we need to wipe them out, because I'm using towers. But mostly, spearmen, that's all you really need. Okay, we're going to use that tower, as you can see. You see their money, you can see what they're building up there, even more catapults. I can't unlock any more troops, I need to get up to there. F, like I say, upgrades your building, you have two slots. There are three upgrade choices and you have two slots. 
Now let's uh, unlock the archer. But yeah, you can't really, like, queue them up. So you have to hold down the right click here, so yeah. It's... Could, it's interesting, it could do with like a bit more strategic layer to it, it's probably designed more around basic stuff, because even the time limit is very, very short, so here we go. But yeah, it's basically spam. Like the shield bearers are significantly more powerful than the spearmen, but they're also like three times more expensive, so you can actually really, really pump out spearmen. And as you can see, the enemy's having trouble stopping me, and once I get to their base they're lost. There we go. They're holding me just at the outbreak. And done. So the ability is not even much health either. It's very much a short, quick game. I'm not too sure how competitive it will be. Like, maybe there are strategies which go in, but yeah, it does... Let's put you as raw as well. Boil down mostly to who has the most spearmen. Let's go to Dunes, which is a three... Uh, way map. So obviously they can cover three different directions, which means the matches should last a little bit longer. Seven minutes. Solar flare boost all damage. Uh, let's put a couple down here to make it so they actually have to. Now in this map I found the AI usually builds more towers. On the first map they just spam catapult. Yeah, there we go. That's the first tower. I don't have any kind of, like, belief yet, so we need to kill more things in the name of our god. That catapult is useless, of course, because there's no towers. Now, of course, I could build a catapult to take out the tower, or I could also just, you know, ignite the tower with this. I could also upgrade my damage, damage all enemies, make my troops move faster. It's just easy to wipe out towers with it. Let's go a couple down the middle as well to really start distracting them. Now I'm not going to actually unlock anything, so I actually put another building down to show you how it works. Yeah, look at them, the British troops. So as you can see, the actual troops are on little bases. Now they obviously they move and shoot the things. There we go, troops in every single direction. I've lost the north. The centre looks like I'm holding. I already got some troops out. Did you get some troops out the south too? Just. Now press F, I can build and see about extra damage and defense. This gives me extra gold. Now obviously you want the gold. Why? Because look at how much money I'm now getting. See that? Now I can just spam. Yeah. You may be able to have more damaging troops. I can just now pour out spearmen. Look how many spearmen now exist. So yeah, it's it needs a bit more work. Now obviously it's got another couple of months before it comes out, but it definitely needs a bit more work. Because I'm just spamming. Now the troops may be more powerful than mine, but I have so many more. Yeah, let's actually wipe this tower out while I'm at it as well. There we go. See, that's a nice touch there, that thing which just popped up. Ooh, they beamed me. Yeah, I do like those little nice touches of how it pops up. They might actually win. Interesting. But yeah, you also have access to spells as well. Interesting. Look at that. Okay, they might actually win this one. I'm actually very excited to see them win. But again, you also have access to the spell power. Also, I'm going to press F and give myself extra damage. There you go, my troops now will do more damage. Like, Favor's obviously really good if you're going to use it to wipe out towers and things like that. But yeah, the attack spell and the tower destruction spell, they're really powerful. And also spearmen get made so quickly, look how many I've got suddenly. I haven't at any point needed to make anything else, like I'm probably going to. Because shield bears are really powerful, you just, who needs them? 
Look how many spear I now have out there. I just use two of those. I can only use one at a time. That must be their temple they use. We've got two temples. Yeah, they are using a lot of dead death spells now. Oh, I took some hits! How dare they? This is actually quite interesting. I might actually lose. Most people don't want to lose games. I'm actually excited to see me lose a game because it means the AI is better than I thought it was. Okay, destroy that tower. More spearmen. Yeah, they actually did some damage to me. I'm very surprised. That actually, was a lot tougher match. There we go. So it looks like the enemy's better with Ra than the Eye of Isis. Because they are actually pushing me on many, many flanks, which is actually pretty fun. Oh, they're holding me. And there we go, still one. We are tougher. So the AI definitely doesn't know yet how to work out the other one. Because that was a much tougher battle. But yeah, that's how the game works. And obviously I'd like to see more to it. Obviously they're probably putting in more maps and a couple more gods which have different spells and abilities. But as you saw, most of just spam spearmen. Didn't really need to do anything else. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's actually unlock the archer. Let's get a couple of archers in the centre. Okay, they're shooting. They mass spam out troops at the very last second, as you can see, every time. A lot more spearmen than I have. Okay, two soldiers got in. Good. F three soldiers got in. Yeah, they're actually, they're actually pushing me. I'm enjoying this. There we go, my troops are now more powerful. They're putting up more towers. Takes 25 to kill a tower, that's fine. But yeah, most of the time you really don't need anything else. I'm only putting archers in because they can do a bit more damage, but I don't need archers. As you can also see, only like a few soldiers fight at any one time. You don't have to worry about being surrounded. Okay, let's give me more money. Yeah, it's alright. Like I say, it's very basic. The AI probably needs a bit more of a tune-up, but the game isn't even out yet, so it's still got time. Oh, we won. I didn't even realise. We out them. They were still fighting in the south. Yeah, the game's out in July. Uh, by the time this video comes out, the indie thing might have already ended. But I'm always willing to look at these games again. Uh, let's pick... Let's change God. Let's go to... Let's, let's pick you. There we go. Let's see how hard this actually was for them. Uh, yeah. But yeah, it's very basic. You can rotate towers. Like, some of the towers are like three wide, some are like two by two. But most, yeah, but like I said, there's only four towers. And each god doesn't come with their own specific things right now. 
Stops attack on your towers. Earthquake stuns all units. Okay. But yeah, Ra seems to be one of the most powerful gods currently. Immunity. Take no damage. I'm not healed. Okay, I've won the south at least. There's their first catapult. They do love catapults, even though there's blatantly no towers on the map. The archers are actually pretty powerful, to be honest. But look, it's actually hitting multiple targets. Okay, the archers will really help out over there, all three of them. I should have unlocked them, though. So, yeah. Like, oh, well, back in. I'd like to see, obviously, more strategy to it. Obviously, a few more towers and things. I know it's meant to be competitive, so... <sighs> having too many counters is never a good thing in competitive. I think most competitive games boil down to rock, paper, scissors. Having anything more than that is sort of bad, really. You want to be able to, like, you know, if someone's sending swords, you can send out spears to hold them. If someone's sending out spears, you send out um, archers. If someone's out archers, you send out cavalry. You know, the basics. But I don't know. I do not know. Did I give it one more rematch? Like, I feel like Ra is definitely more powerful. What is this? Oh, I can change things. Keep health as... Eh, 20 HP. I don't know if that actually helped me, if I'm honest. Timer, round time. So, yeah, let's uh, restore. I don't think it'll actually help me. It'll just make the game slightly longer. Anubis, set. Okay. That's on the bigger map. But yeah, I mean... I can't see this becoming a hit competitive game. There are a lot of tower defence games to do similar things. And this is obviously the very most basic things. I'd like to see it get better. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Two. Yeah, it's a tower. You always go towers on this map, I don't know why. It's got to be an AI program thing. There we go. But yeah, I can't see this becoming a, um, a hit. There's a competitive scene, but who knows? Competitive people like all sorts of things. I'm not a competitive gamer. I don't quite know what people do and do not like competitive-wise. Oh, that's what that spell was they kept on using on me in the first two games. Okay, so they can't use that on me anymore. And they've unlocked something? They've unlocked that tower. Of course they have. They made them do more damage. That's fine. I'm going to unlock money straight up. Seems to me money is like the, one of the easiest ways to win the game. Just get more money. Okay, that's an extra ten a time. Oh, we've won already. So yeah, it's just Spearman spam is the way to win. There you are, so yeah, um, it'll be out in July, links as always will be in the description downstairs below, um, I might have a look at it again in the future. I am of course going through a lot of these games, I'd like to see more things, we'll see how things go. I have been the Fallen Shogun, it's been another Who's That Indie, being a strategic, tactical and survival indie games to your face holes, shout out for nails, be awesome, be epic and please, be safe out there.